You can apply the layer style in a particular layer in a group. And for the mobile UI UX design, we don't need much layer style. We will focus on learning the styles we need now. So this time, let's select the red, the red layer from the layer panel, and select this, the FX menu, which is for layer style, and select drop shadow. Okay, and now, Select the blend mode to normal, opacity to 100%, and the color is black. Now see this red shape? It, it has a drop shadow, and the color is black. Now if I move the angle, which is now 90%, if I move this one to minus 90, the drop shadow uh, will be on top. And if I move this to here, the drop shadow is on the right side. And if I move the slider here, the drop shadow is on the left hand side. And make sure to always turn this off. Use global light. If this is selected, all of your applications will have the same effect for this kind of drop shadow. The next one is the distance. The distance is at 3 now. Let's increase this. The more we increase it, the larger the drop shadow becomes. Let's select spread. It's at 5 now, 5%. If we increase that, You can see it's spreading, and it appears to be darker. Let's increase the size. The size is now 5%. Now you can see as we increase the size, it becomes more transparent. See? Okay, let's bring this back to 5 again. Okay. For our mobile UI UX design, we need a very subtle drop shadow. It doesn't need to be too dark or very thick. So we will change the blend mode to multiply. The color will remain the same, black, and the distance would be... 2%. Spread 2. Size would be 2. And then we will reduce the opacity. So see we have a, a very subtle drop shadow. Let's turn this on and off and see the difference. We need a very subtle drop shadow. And next is the click OK. So you'll have now, beneath this red layer, you'll see the effects and drop shadow. If you turn off this eye, you will not see the drop shadow effect. Turn it on and the drop shadow will appear again. You can copy this drop shadow effect from this layer and paste it into another layer. So select the layer which has this drop shadow Right-click on the mouse and select Copy Layer Style. Select this and go to the blue one, the blue layer. Right-click again and select Paste Layer Style. And see, uh, now we have a drop shadow in our blue layer also. You can delete this, the layer style, by right-clicking the mouse and select clear layer style. So select clear layer style and the style will be cleared. So now there is no layer style in the blue layer. 
Next would be the color overlay. So again, this time select that, the green, green layer from the layer panel, select effects menu, select color overlay. And this layer effect we will use most of the time for our icons in the mobile UI UX design. So here, select this one, check the color overlay, and let's place it here. And while this is selected, you see this blue color is applied to the green layer. So select the color. Select the color and change the color to this one, to red. And see how we selected from the color picker and it applied on the fly. Click OK. And you can also reduce the opacity of this color overlay. If you make it zero, we see our green color is back. And if we make it 100, we see our red color is applied as the layer style. Click OK. And this time, let's select this one, the, the yellow. Select the Effects menu and select the Gradient Overlay. And see, we selected the Gradient Overlay and whatever gradient color is there is applied to that yellow shape, that yellow layer. Select this drop down. From there, select any gradient. Select this one. OK. Now, that gradient is applied on this layer. You can change the angle. OK. It can be linear. It can be radial. The gradient can be at an angle. It can be reflected and it can be diamond. You can reduce the opacity as well. Linear. You can scale it, make it bigger or smaller. Click OK. And there are also various other options like inner shadow, inner glow, color overlay. You can play with it. And the last thing about the opacity and the fill, you can see here that every layer has opacity and fill. So what is the difference between opacity and fill? Let's select this one, the pink. It doesn't have a layer style, like gradient or drop shadow. So select the pink, and now if you reduce the opacity, by sliding it down to 50%. See what happened to our the pink color layer? Now if we make it zero, the image disappears altogether. If you make it 10, you can see it's very subtle. Let's take this opacity back to 80. Let's go to 100. Let's reduce the fill now to 50%. Make it zero. Fill zero. See, again, it has totally disappeared. So what is the difference between the opacity and the fill? Both seem to work the same, right? Yes, both opacity and fill are working the same way. The difference between opacity and fill is in the layer style. Some of the effects, for example, this in this red shape, in the red shape, and in the yellow, we have gradient overlay, and we have drop shadow overlay. So let's select this one, the yellow. The yellow shape we have here. And we applied gradient overlay. So let's reduce the opacity of the yellow and see what happens. 80%, 50%. See, opacity is reduced 50% from this 
layer, okay? Let's make it zero and again, that layer disappeared. Now go back to 100% opacity and we see our layer is back totally. Now let's try the fill. Reduce the fill to 50%. Nothing happened. The image hasn't changed. Nothing happened. Make the fill color to zero. Nothing happens. So what is the difference? The difference is only with the effect. We applied a layer effect of gradient overlay. The fill doesn't change that. So put it back to 100. To better understand the difference between opacity and fill, Let's select this one, the red. Red has a drop shadow. We reduce the opacity to 50%. Now let's make it to zero. Everything disappears, the layer style and the layer itself. Take this back to 100%. And this time let's reduce the fill to 0% and see what happened. The layer itself disappeared, but the drop shadow remains. The fill doesn't reduce the opacity of the layer style. So this is the difference. Hopefully you understand. Thank you very much for watching this lecture.